Hello and welcome to today's video. So in this video, let's take a look at how we can create a fist here in ZBrush. Okay, so this is the uh, fist that we'll end up uh, making and uh, to get started, what I wanted to point out is one of the most important things in ZBrush, obviously when you're sculpting, is to have a good reference. So I did find a uh, good reference online by just simply Googling uh, fist and I grabbed this image and we can use that maybe as our uh, reference, right? So um, to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my light box and I am going to go into the project folder and in your ZBrush, uh, you should have a folder called mannequin. So if you go in there, um, you will see that there is a hand in there that is available to us. I'm going to double click on it and this is what I have, right? So the uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, quickly fold this hand into a fist and then use that as a base to start sculpting. So let's go ahead and do that together. All right, so grab your hand and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to activate this Z sphere by simply clicking on it. When you click on it, you can see that um, you can see these joints running along uh, each direction, right? So if you uh, put your uh, hand sideways and kind of match the uh, the angle, the the bend angle that you need to to make a fist for the first finger, uh, that's probably the easiest way of doing it. So I'm just going to very quickly uh, just kind of follow this reference here. You can see the finger is pretty much 90 degrees uh, bend down and then it kind of curves uh, up a little bit and in, right? So let's do the same thing. So we got the 90 degree uh, turn and then from this side we can click on this Z sphere, maybe position this up a little bit and just kind of bend this in. All right, so there you go. So there's our first finger. Let's go ahead and quickly do uh, the rest. I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of match the angle at which I wanna rotate and then just simply rotate this uh, about 90 degrees or so and go ahead come to this side and let's go ahead and do the same thing very quickly kind of bend our finger all right let's do our next one which is going to be this guy here all right very nice so i think that kind of uh takes care of our uh, four fingers here. Next, let's go ahead and work on this uh, thumb. So for the thumb, again, uh, if you look at the reference, you can see that this big uh, knuckle here is very close to, to the fingers, right? You want to make sure, you, again, you have a good reference. You can also make a fist, your own fist, and take a look and see how this uh, bone here is very close to probably about this position uh, right here. So you have something like that. And then what you have is you have the uh, second joint. Let's say let's let's break this thumb into three. So you have one, two, and then three kind of bends in uh, right here, right? So we have one, and then second second joint is going to be uh, going underneath the uh, fingers, and you can see how it's kind of curving in a little bit. And then you have something uh, along these lines. All right, so one thing I want to point out, if you go to the top view, for example, uh, let's say I want to move this joint instead of just rotating it, right? If I click on, on the Z sphere, I can rotate it as we've been doing, right? But what if I, I want to move this joint instead of rotating? it? Well, if you hover over the middle of it, you can see that it turns green and that will allow you to move it around in, into position. So you can do that with each one of these Z spheres. If you just hover over the uh, green circle, you can position it and move it around as you wish, right? All right, very nice. Once you are happy with your fist and you think it looks pretty good, the next thing we can do is we can press A on our keyboard to do a preview. And uh, it's not going to look really uh, good, but that's okay because we are building a base mesh. This is not gonna be our final fist, right? We just need the base mesh. So the next step, I'm gonna press A again. The next step is going to be going to Adaptive Skin, and that's going to be under Tools. And in the Adaptive Skin, you have a few options here. You can change the density, the, dy the Dynamesh resolution. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to simply click Make Adaptive Skin. As soon as I click that, you can see that a new subtool was created called Skin Hand. So I'm going to click on that, and 
Now you can see that this is no longer Z spheres. If you press A, nothing's going to happen because this is um, actually sculptable uh, mesh. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate my hand just a little bit. And it's currently set to 256 Dynamesh resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and re Dynamesh and do a quick polish. And now I'm left with something like this, which is a great beginning as a base mesh for uh, uh, a fist, right? So now we can start sculpting this even more. So what I suggest is grabbing something like the move tool and at very first, before you begin to create the details and the folds and the creases, uh, you really wanna get the main uh, shape down first. So maybe holding down the shift key, you can smooth out some of this um, uh, detail that maybe we don't really want, right? Some of these lines here. And we definitely don't want this line there. And what we can do is we can start kind of pushing these around and creating more of a, what we uh, think the fist needs to look like, right? So maybe you have, again, uh, having a good reference is really, really important. So let's go ahead and do something like this. All right, once you kind of clean this up and smooth smooth out some of these uh, lines that don't make really sense on an organic hand, right? Like uh, I still have a couple here, I can smooth these out. The next thing that I suggest uh, that you do is switch to your tablet and grab something like the Trim Dynamic, for example, right? And I'm gonna set my uh, Z intensity to maybe like 20 and just kind of start flattening out some of these areas to make it look a little more like a hand instead of a big blob, right? So let's just start doing some of that. And uh, another thing that I suggest that you do at this point in time is also crank up the resolution just a little bit higher. I'm gonna go to maybe something like 500, 528 and re mesh, And you can see that gives me a little more resolution. And now what I can do is I can just start following again uh, look at the reference but start kind of creating more of a basic angles so something like this and this would be an important step before we start adding uh, creases and folds to our fist right so let's go ahead and very quickly just go around the mesh And I'm kind of doing it fast, right? Because I am i don't want this uh, video to be long, but I'm just giving you an idea of the process uh, that you can follow to start creating something that um, is useful and uh, is realistic, right? So let's go ahead and do a little more. All right, so once you uh, are happy with kind of the very base shape and feel and scale, of all the joints and uh, fingers, right? The uh, the next step, what I suggest is probably grabbing something like Damien Standard. And what we can do is we can just start drawing in some of this detail. So you can see, again, look at your own fist and uh, grab good references, but you wanna start drawing in some of this detail that, um, that makes sense, right? So maybe you have something like this. We can also create a couple uh, lines. You can hold on the old key and using the Amian standard, we can push lines out or press them in. So you have something like that. Then of course do the smooth. You can also start creating some of these uh, creases. Again, just switching between old and uh, and just drawing the line in. All right. And then uh, for uh, details, another thing you can do is, for example, you can draw a line. Uh, you can, of course, re mesh if you needed to, but you can draw a line. And if you want the line to be deeper, just press one without moving the camera. And that will uh, allow you to, and that will repeat the stroke as long as you don't move your uh, camera. So it's a really cool uh, trick.
All right, I'm not actually happy with this uh, hole that I have somehow created. So I can maybe close this up and redynamesh. And then I can use the Damien standard to kind of go over and um, draw some of that uh, detail that maybe makes a little more sense. Alright, and that's pretty much it. This is how uh, very quickly you can create your own uh, fist. And at this point in time, obviously, it's going to be a matter of taking my time and sculpting more and more uh, detail. Um, so that will greatly depend based on how much, um, what kind of character you're making and how much uh, realism you want to uh, build into your model. All right, so thank you so much for um, watching. I hope this uh, is helpful to you, and I will see you in the next video.